This is now the best day of my life. All right, so Nikki and I, on a whim this morning, woke up at like 5.45, made coffee, and we're like, what do we want to do today? So what we're doing right now is, I'm making a mess, is what I'm doing, but we're gonna, we're gonna go way up north on the border of Canada and New Hampshire. We're gonna go camping, gravel riding, fishing. running, fishing, oh yeah, I can bring my fishing pole. Dog walking. Dog <laughs> stuff, yeah. And I'm definitely gonna overpack. Yep, I always overpack. We're gonna fit everything into our little hatchback Honda Fit. Nikki's kind of ahead of the curve. I'm like lagging on my end of the thing. I gotta get the bikes and all that camping gear ready. And then she's already got stuff packed. This is kind of how we do things. We just do things on a whim. So we're gonna take Buddy with us and he's gonna enjoy some bike rides way up north in the wilderness part of New Hampshire, huh? Yeah, you like that stuff. I'm in our storage and try to dig out our camping stuff. I think we get a six person tent. This one is our more of our like little backcountry tent. I don't know which one to take. I think it's gonna take both and see what we come up with. Maybe Buddy can have his own tent or something. pig in a round hole. Oh god, there's a dog birthing out. <laughs> well, I was going to say, lately we've been feeling really guilty about leaving Buddy at home, so we decided to rig up Caleb's bike so that we could bring him um, bike riding with us in Pittsburgh, New Hampshire, but he doesn't deserve it anymore after that performance. But anyways, we're only like 10 miles from the Canadian border and we are staying at Francis Lake State Park in Pittsburgh and tomorrow we've got a really cool ride planned out obviously it's around restaurants uh, from for breakfast and we'll loop around for lunch so uh, we're gonna get a good night's rest and we'll see you guys in the morning good morning and good morning to you Nikki's gonna go see if she can find us some coffee. We slept in a little bit later than we normally do by like two hours. Uh, it's almost eight o'clock. Here she comes, Let's see if she was successful. This is now the best day of my life. We were coffeeless for 24 hours basically. And it hurt. And it hurt. Like literally. Not used hurt. to that. <clears throat> I haven't taken a sip yet. Hot. It's like molten lava. Oh, where have you been all my life for 24 hours? All right, so we're packing up the bikes and we're gonna get ready to go on like kind of an all-day ride and then uh, come back and get into some other stuff. But I always put it in the in the uh, description of all the videos of how grateful I am that people watch and that, you know, that you subscribe and you like and you share. And so I just kind of wanted to verbally say that for once is I'm really, you know, Nikki, Buddy, and myself are really grateful uh, that you guys support us. It's a fun endeavor to do when you feel like people are, you know, kind of, rooting for you a little bit I guess and and it's it's uh, to me it's a privilege to be able to share um, our you know our adventures in our life with you because we feel very grateful for the life that we have we don't have a ton we make do with what we got but I think that's why we enjoy um, each other and you know nature and ourselves and um, and our life so we just we're, you know like I said I feel privileged to share it with you and I'm very grateful that you guys are so receptive to that so I just wanted to kind of get that out there verbally um, and have it, have you hear it from me instead of just being in the description all the time because not I know not everybody reads the descriptions um, and this channel is growing uh, pretty quickly now as a result of of you you know so thank you so much um, and I just wanted to get that before we go for this ride so let's go have some fun four miles and we wanted another iced coffee and we got a breakfast pizza from this place green acres and this place is really cool because 
this pavement shortly turns to gravel. Actually, it's gravel right there and just up there. And they built, built this little cafe place and it's like five star like cafe food. It's something you see in like a New England magazine or something. It's awesome. And they have like a little picnic table set up over there. The menu is amazing. They have like such good stuff and it's all stuff that they grow right out back. The garden right here. It's amazing. We've been here once before when we came up here and it's really, really good. So if you get a gravel bike, this is a place you can stop. Well, we just stopped and looked at that sign that we went past and this is actually a snowmobile trail that looks like it just keeps going forever. Whew. On this ride. I might need some lube on my chain, it's skipping. You wanna stop? Not in the sun. Survival. Your chain sounded a little loud. It skipped a few times. He's my lube dude. Well, I'm not used to the amount of miles that these go versus like the mountain bike. You need Take more lube. Them. You need more lube more often. There you go, that sounds way better. Cool. Thanks, I appreciate you. Again, making use of our hip packs on this milk crate. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to tell you right now, a milk crate may be your best friend ever when you get a bike packing or a gravel setup, especially and if you got a dog. It can hold your best. It friend. holds everything like this this <laughs> hydration pack sits right behind me. I can reach back there. You can hold panniers off the side of it. It's light. It's durable. If you need another one on the road, there's they're everywhere and holds an 8-pound dog. What it, look what you get to carry. Yeah, but 8-pound dog is perfect for this <clears throat> yeah. crate. And then we Are you comfortable? You can have a cup holder made out of an old snowboard ankle strap that ratchets your drinks or holds your bananas like I did I drop the bananas? Yep. Oh no. Um there's a car so just pull up over there. I guess it doesn't hold your bananas. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> Yeah, it looks like they just graded this. Oh boy, maybe not. Pretty rough. <laughs> How you doing back there, buddy? You doing good? This is rugged. <laughs> I know, it probably doesn't look like anything on the camera, but that went from gravel grinding to mud mashing real quick. Man, I love having two wheels and riding around on this planet. And this is cool. Oh, God. My taint. What is all this? Is that them great, like regrading the road? Holy God. I hear a machine up there. Yeah, he's like digging the sucker right up. That is cool. Here, you want to just walk around? That thing's sweet. It's just chewing up terrain. What do you think, boo? How you doing? Thank you. He was a nice guy. He waved and smiled at Buddy. <laughs> How you doing back there, pal? Huh? Was that rough? Did we go left? That's nice double track down there. Look at that. Hell yeah. I'm kind of glad we got, we just got out of that mud and we're on this double track because it was pretty soon we're going to have to start picking the mud out of our tires. Oh yeah, look at mine. So, but man, how good are these bikes? Oh, wow. Whoa, dude. Dude, you picked an awesome route. Are you kidding me? Look at this. Hey, let, I want to stop for a second. Just hear nothing. Hey, guys. How are you? How are you? Good. All right, we decided to take a, a shorter route out of here because there is a lot of ATVs and it's their turf. So we want to be respectful and not be in their way. Um, and they're having a lot of fun. So we don't want to in, infringe on that. And the road's pretty rugged, but man, these bikes are doing really well. There's a flyer right here. Get off me, dude. Buddy's doing the best. Uh, Buddy's doing great back here. He just kind of endures. But yeah, we want to get off here. It's a little, um, I feel stressed. It's a, yeah, it's a little more stressful than you really want when you're cruising in the woods. Um, we've done the ATVs, and I know how Nikki drives when she gets a, when she gets a throttle under her foot. The girl is an absolute savage. <laughs> so 
So <laughs> I'm sure there's more people like that. And I don't feel like having a ATV run me over today. I don't know, how about you guys? No? No. All right, so we're gonna get out of here. <laughs> All right, let's follow them. Oh my god. You want in on this, huh? Don't you? Here's a chip. <laughs> All right, Buck Rub Pub. That was a humongous Oof. plate of nachos, and it's all right here. I there's a little bit. Baby. There's a little bit in here, and there's some in there, but a lot of it's in here. The waitress was really nice. They let Buddy hang out on the deck, which was really cool of them, and they let us charge the camera so we could make a little bit longer video today. So now I think after our bellies are full and we're all fueled up, we're gonna go take a ride around Back Lake to Moose Pond. To Moose Pond, also. So and then head back. And then head back to the campsite. And All if right. The wind dies down. We're gonna try a paddle, but we're not 100% on that just yet. A paddleboard? Yeah. Oh, nice. Hey. Yeah, we're gonna paddle. We're gonna pedal and paddle. Pedal and paddle. All right, cool. So, yeah, so hang out with us a little bit longer and we'll take you around the lakes. I am full, man. You're fine. I am really full. And I'm in the wrong gear to be holding this camera. <laughs> So it seems that I've been rather foolish for some time Trying to chase a life, the dreams should sure lay behind You told me you go on a sea, play the my major in the end You never know until you've seen it on fire, you say Okay, so we just saw this off the side of the road. It's a little fishing access area, so we thought it might be nice to cool off in the river, but we're going to see how easy it is to get to. Well, I just can't forget, I can let it go. Oh 